Hey everybody, this is Vril. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 in our playthrough as France as we steer the nation towards the French Commune and the Communist Party support is at 37%, so we're going that direction. I was thinking to recruit a political advisor. We're almost up to the required 150 political power. However, I was thinking because we are just about to get to support the left, which would give us that daily communism support a little bit higher. But I'm not going to do that, and instead, once we get 150 political power, I'll go into, I think it is, Industrial Concern. That'll give us the Industrial Research Time minus 10%, because we're going to be doing a lot of industrial research to get France on the right track for the upcoming wars to be waged. So we have some more factories to build. Let's go ahead and get a couple more of those brewing and just start continuing our time as we hopefully, like I said, increase our support of the Communist Party here. Slowly but surely, we'll, we'll get this daily change. It's currently zero, but we'll be getting that going into at least you know a little bit here shortly. Otherwise, we're just preparing for war. We've got order of battle of our f uh, fleet here. I think we just merged up a little bit more. I think that's everybody, isn't it? Actually, it's not. We've got a little bit more. Have them head to Bordeaux as well. And we are done with our national focus, which we're going to go right into the support the left. Speaking of national focus, though, we have quite a few that are probably pretty good. We can go down. These aren't mutually exclusive. We can improve like the homeland of France and we can improve the colonies as well. We'll probably do both of those in the end. This one to get that next research slot should require, okay, one of the following, not both of the following, luckily. So probably getting, once we get going towards communist government, we'll probably move over to that industry. But let's see, we'd go to leftist rhetoric, I'm thinking. One of these... Yes, so getting national mobilization going would be good because that would remove that disjointed government that is annoying us so much. So getting there as soon as possible, left rhetoric, national mobilization, probably the, the key here for playing as France. And by that point in time, we'll probably be ready to start declare, declaring some wars and we just finish the machine tools. I would like to go into the next level getting concentrated industry or dispersed industry but you see these will take 186 days and we're about to get that political advisor which will bring it down 10 percent which would be i suppose 166 days so let's move to something else for the moment we're working on that fighter one we have no support weapons so let's actually go ahead get our support weapons brewing as well. That'll only take 140 days. How close are we on anything else over there? 46 days on that fighter one. All right. Do we actually have any aircraft being produced at the moment? Does not appear like it, so... I'll, I'll wait to do that until we get the fighter... Um, I keep calling it fighter one, but whatever that next fighter is for the French there. These guys are ready to be merged up, and... Okay, no, I didn't. Uh, I was thinking, did I... Let's split our fleet up here. I'm going to move all of our submarines into, I guess, to another port, and we'll move them up to Brittany. I think I just moved everybody, though, didn't I? Yes, I did. Not what I wanted to do. So... Select that fleet, move them back to Bordeaux. And that should leave, yeah, our submarine fleet there. So actually we're ready to go with our political advisor here. We're going to do the industrial concern. So we have a lot of options between like heavy tank, mobile tank, ship designers, aircraft designers, artillery, infantry equipment would be good as well. We could also get any of these guys. Actually this could be good uh, conversion cost. We are going to be doing a lot of that. Ward Industrials could have been good. 
But I think I'll go with the research guy for the moment. Hopefully we'll be able to recruit some more of these at some point in time. So, industrial concern. So when we get done with the... Fighter... This one. The MS-406 fighter plane. We'll go on and start working on the next level of industry, which I think we're doing... I guess I can look at it. Nothing else really going on. Keep, I always click on this and I look at my political efforts since we have these two trees. Now we have the research tree and we have the focus tree. I get them mixed up. So concentrated industry or that dispersed industry. This dispersed industry, less factory output, but you get this factory bomb vulnerability goes down. Production efficiency retention. We get that too. That's kind of cool. But I think I'm going to do Concentrated Industry just to get that maxed out. And unlike the Argentina playthrough, I really need to focus on getting these improved machine tools as soon as possible as well. I, that really lagged behind my industry, and I think we suffered a little bit because of it. So, I mean, not that that playthrough was difficult in any way, but we did suffer from it in trying to... I, I mean, I guess the nations we were fighting weren't all that great, so we were okay, but... If we were to fight an allied nation, we would want our production efficiency to go up quite a bit. Actually, let's go ahead. We've got these infantry guys slowly brewing. Let's get a couple mountaineers going. Set them, like, to the Alps, because we've got six of these guys here. They have no infantry equipment, and they're going to lag behind big time. But we've got them brewing, at least. We'll be working on this at some point, so we can probably remove this agreement at some point in time that's giving us minus 30%, and plus we'll just be starting to pump out the production efficiency at some point in time. So we were moving right on to concentrated industry. So this, before I got that uh, political advisor for industry, this took 186 days, now it's taking 166 so this bonus 20 days, especially in the end, once you've researched all that industrial concern, kind of pays for itself in time. You'll probably knock out, you know, half a year in the end, if not more. Guess I'll look here. We actually... So we've got a bunch of trained guys. We have some regulars, but if we could actually get everybody to exercise, get everybody up to just the regular status, that'd probably be a good thing. All these guys, they could train a little bit or exercise. These guys already on that. And our garrison, who is... Actually, we've got some completely fresh green guys here, so have the garrison exercise too. Obviously, we'll take that slight attrition from everything. We do have a slight increase monthly growth in the states here. And I don't recall, yeah, I think I discussed it where, say like Algeria. Okay, we've got some decisions here. So we've got support the left, number one. So... That support the left should give us this daily communism support. We'll move right into leftist at rhetoric. We'll gain Maurice Thorez, which gain which grants communist revolutionary. So actually, that's good because that gives us the communist revolutionary that I didn't have to spend political power on. So I did not notice that that gave that anyway. So it's a good thing I did not pay the political power to get that. Go right into that. That will be done 70 days. That would put us into, what about support? No, actually, October, I think. So, we have remilitarization of the Rhineland. Several German divisions advanced into the Rhineland, marking the first time since the end of the Great War that Germany has forced position west of the Rhine. This is a clear violation of the Versailles Treaty, under which Germany is forbidden from militarizing the region. Unless we issue an ultimatum demanding their withdrawal, the treaty will not be enforced. So... This is an act of war, rally the British side to our cause. This would cost political power, which I'm assuming... Does this go negative if you do one of these decisions? We'd get national unity, which already is horrible in the first place, would go down even more. Or we can just issue a diplomatic objection, which gives us opinion, 
minus 25, and then the UK gets some sort of Rhineland opinion too. So actually this is... I'm not going to do this, obviously, but I'm wondering if I should do like a really short playthrough where I immediately have World War II go off in 1936 with this remilitarization of the Rhineland. I do think that there's a possibility that I could beat the Germans at this point, actually, because they are just building up at this point. They probably only start with... They might have a little bit more industry than we do, but I think they start with less divisions than we do. So that could be a very short but interesting playthrough. Let me know if you guys like me to do that. I could even maybe... I've been thinking about doing some more streaming, something like that, so maybe I could uh, do something like that with that. So anyway, we'll issue this a diplomatic objection. And we get this remilitarization of the Rhineland. Germany has stationed troops in the Rhineland territory close to the French border in clear violation of the Treaty of Versailles. The local population cheered the German soldiers on while the diplomatic relation or reactions from the France and Britain have so far been muted. So we must see to our border defenses. That is the historic outcome of that, I would say. I know as our Argentina playthrough, we saw the same thing. With this production efficiency or the amount of factories we have focused on this, I, I'd have to calculate this out, but doing nine, basically nine guns a day, and you need 26,000 26, of them, that'll take a little bit of time. So we can... It's already filled on support equipment. Don't want that. Okay, we said we have the revisit the Matinan agreements. With the recently signed Matinan agreements, our industry have no way of competing with the Germans. We are falling behind in production capacity each passing day. Some factory owners have already started renegotiating some of the rights they were granted at the Matinan agreements. With little to no resistance from the workers, we have the opportunity to officially revoke the newly gained workers' rights countrywide, but risk the, uh, but risk from rallying party, the Communist Party once again in hopes that they will bring back another strike. Letting the workers keep their rights and focusing on optimizing the current workflow may help reunite the French people and let us grow together. So with time, we will be as efficient as before, or we can remove the Matin and agreements, and that would actually change the popularity of the Communist Party by 8%. Let's put us up to what? About 46%? So, and that would remove that Matin and agreement, which is reducing our production here, let me get this. Uh, it's reducing our production output. So if we do that, it's kind of a good thing on both respects. So you can see that as soon as that next day ticked by, that was good. So the games, the Olympic Games have ended the 11th, were recently held in Germany. German athletes saw the most success winning 33 gold medals, while the Americans came in second with 24. Four of these were won by Jesse Owens, the single most successful athlete of the games. The games are concluded. All right. So yeah, we'll get that production efficiency up. What was it, like eight? Now it's up to 12, 12 guns a day. And I was actually going to start building, we have that new aircraft. So he is fighter one. See our previous fighter, they actually they won't even show him, was this interwar fighter. So that, what I was calling fighter one was actually fighter one. So let's actually get that guy going get some cycles on him because the support equipment was actually actually let's this guy's totally below all of our ships so get that support equipment actually it went up to two now I guess we'll do we have motorized motorized was almost done as it was so let's get some of these brewing at least and at least Start working on some production efficiency with it, I think. We're filled with support equipment once again. 
and we're filled with the motorized. So we'll get this going. No factories assigned. I guess we can't assign, unassign these factories without destroying that production line. So obviously that is why we had as many as we had. So we'll get another factory online shortly. Which we can actually do right at the moment. Let's go ahead, convert like one factory. That would be a good place to do that. I guess just right here. So we'll at least be able to start building some aircraft at that point in time. It's a little early, but we'll start upgrading some of that. We didn't really look at much at our Air Force, but we've got a bunch of fighters. We've got some naval bombers. We've got some tactical bombers. Actually, I think I did talk about this in the first episode a little bit. So I'm wondering... If I should just, like, merge up these guys to just keep them kind of together in the same place. Actually, I think that just assigned them a mission here. Here we go. This is what I want. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this particular interface in the game. I think I actually like the aircraft control of Hearts of Iron 3 slightly better than this. So sending all of these to the same airbase. Actually, these uh, also the tactical bombers were all in there as well. So we can do, we can have our tactical bombers do strategic bombing. That I think that would be a mistake. Set up for... Okay, so the Italians just finished off Ethiopia, the Treaty of Addis Ababa. They took the one state of Ethiopia and 1300 equipment was seized, so... Things are moving around. So we got some naval bombers. Let's probably where are we going to be attacking? <laughs> and actually, uh, the Spanish Civil War has not fired off yet, so I'm a little bit surprised by that. Some more factories coming online. Does that mean that we have? No, it doesn't. It means that we're converting that one. Let's go ahead and build a military factory now, though. And I'm kind of thinking, I'm building them over here actually for a reason, just in case the Germans take this area at some point in time, then we have some factories back here a little bit. So that's a strategy there anyway. I don't know how successful that will be, but that is what I'm thinking. See, so yeah, we're looking at this aircraft stuff. The naval bombers, let's get these guys at the same place. Where do we actually want to do this at? Let's... Leftist rhetoric is complete. Well, before I do that, let me see if I can move these guys where I actually wanted them to go. Aquitaine, that's actually where I wanted them to go, because I'm thinking at some point we're probably going into Spain, but we'll see. Alright, so... Communism on the rise. While workers rise up against their oppressors around the world, those who claim to have achieved class consciousness in France sit idly by and wait for a change to come from within the political system. So thoroughly corrupt, only a revolution could save us from it. So speaks new voices in the French communist movement, referring to the rule of the party radical as a dictatorship of the bourgeois. They have begun calling for it to be brought out of power by any means necessary, whether those means will come from within or without remains to be seen. So here we go, there will be, there may be those in the government itself who support such ideas, increases the champ, chance of a communist coup, increases the chance of a communist popular support uprising, a movement of the people must seek support from the people. I think that 
I would prefer to do a communist coup, so we'll try that. And then we have the British Parliament debates intervention in Benelux. So having learned from the Great War, the British will not be underestimate the strategic value of the Benelux region and the potential risks of seeking enemy countries build influence there. Seeing enemy countries build influence there. The British Parliament have debated the possibility of military inf intervention, while the political implications of such action weighed heavily on Neville Chamberlain. Several decisive arguments were delivered before it was decided that the rest of the debate should be conducted in closed chambers. Such, a, such an intervention would irrevocably change the political landscape of Western Europe. Will they really chance an intervention? Alright, so we need to go into our next national focus. And since we're close enough, let's just go right into national mobilization. We'll remove that disjointed government is the key here. And we can actually are able to do this because of our communist party support is above 40%. So get that going. What is our support at? It's almost over party radical here. Almost over the Demo Democrats there. So support weapons one is done. We're not quite up to 1937, so we take a negative on this, so probably don't want to do that. Radios. So we already, as I mentioned before, we have trench warfare. We'll probably just go right into Grand Battle Doctrine since we already have that researched. But I'm going to hold back on it for the moment. Artillery. Armor, we don't want to do anything with armor yet. Engineers, we want engineers at some point. I think... Let's go look into radios. Reinforcement rate plus 5%. Kind of get these going. We'll be able to build radar stations at some point in time. So since we're actually in Europe, this, this playthrough, it's probably a good idea that we actually focus on building those radars and more civilian factories ready to go. I think... I'll build one more, and then probably from there on out, we're going to be focusing mostly on the factories. So let's look here. So do we... Yeah, we are working on some aircraft, finally. Only building 10 a year, but that's better than nothing. So yeah, the Germans are bordering with us now. Very small German. They are exercising as well, you can see. Keep an eye on this exercise. Army experience is up to 10, so we could adjust the template at this point if we wanted. All right, but it does look like we're out of time. We'll have to continue our support of a communist revolution here in France in the next episode. So until then, hope you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time.